What's going on guys? Jacob here from JPS and today I'm going to talk to you about whether or not tracking calories is potentially harmful to your mental health, your relationship with food and your ability to manage your body composition long term. So where does this question come from? Well, it's quite apparent that there's a lot of people out there that advocate tracking calories macros isn't my approach. I did it. It messed me up. I couldn't get away from the very neurotic uh, tendencies that are associated with calorie tracking and macro tracking and it destroyed their life and so on and so forth. So I thought we'd address this topic today and discuss why potentially that is the case for some people and how you can potentially avoid being another statistic as somebody who doesn't work well with tracking calories. So firstly, we need to understand what is the utility of tracking calories? Well, it is just another approach to controlling energy balance. We know that the law of thermodynamics and physics apply to the human body when managing body mass. That is, we consume calories in the form of uh, energy. That energy cannot be destroyed or created out of thin air. It needs to go somewhere. So we either gain weight or we lose weight depending on the energy requirements of our body in a given day over the course of weeks and months. And that will determine the net changes in our body mass. So, again, tracking calories is just a way to control our total calorie intake. It's not magic. There's nothing special about it. It's just another way to control your energy balance. But what it is really useful for is teaching you the fundamentals of nutrition. So you will learn what foods contain how many calories, which foods contain certain macronutrients, and how much macro of each macronutrient are within a certain food. You'll also learn things like reading food labels and what that all means, what a serving size is, what a 100 gram portion of chicken breast will look like. So it is a very useful educational tool. And again, it's not something that should be used long term when it comes to manipulating and managing your body composition, but it's a very important educational tool that can be used to a great degree of success when it's used for the right reason, not as a holy grail or silver bullet that's gonna fix all of your nutrition problems, which brings us to point number two. A binary perspective to nutrition. So most people when they start a diet, they think that their diet is the best and that's the way to diet and there are no other options available that are going to lead to as good a result as what their current diet is going to lead to. And this type of black and white thinking is very, very problematic and why a lot of people don't see uh, the long-term success when they try calories and macros because it is quite an arduous uh, process. It takes a long time to learn how to weigh, measure and track all your food and get your head around uh, the calorie tracking app and the whole process. And by the time they start to see some results, they're burnt out and they think that, well, that didn't work, so it's no good. But again, if they understand that it is just a tool and that no diet is perfect, they're all just trying to achieve a common goal of controlling calorie balance, then they won't be as hurt uh, by tracking calories when it doesn't work for them or they have a negative experience. The third reason is tracking calories and macros, again, is just a tool to control energy balance. But if we employ restrictive uh, dietary protocols such as this with maladaptive eating behaviors, that is somebody who has tendencies to overeat or undereat, uh, they potentially binge eat, starve themselves, and have a very rigid and restrictive, unhealthy relationship with their food. Well, tracking calories and macros isn't the solution. They probably need to see a therapist, have somebody work with them in a very uh, specific and controlled environment to teach them the fundamentals of nutrition and help them reframe uh, their perspective and mindset around nutrition in the first place. They don't even need a diet. So again, if you're somebody who has maladaptive eating behaviors, tracking calories and macros may not be for you. And number four, as I'm sure you guys are starting to realize, is having an exit strategy. So the reason people get really, really frustrated with tracking calories and macros and they don't uh, sustain their results long term is they have no exit strategy. Again, back to the binary perspective, they think that this diet is what they have to do forever to maintain uh, any weight that they lose and they don't realize that. There are other ways that we can control our energy balance, such as just tracking uh, our protein, potentially implementing all the behaviors uh, that we followed uh, and learned through the process of tracking calories and macros, adopting a meal plan, potentially using some other form of calorie restriction such as intermittent fasting. There are a host of other ways and methods, but they are all trying to achieve the one fundamental principle, you guessed it, controlling energy balance. And again, if you have an exit strategy, you put some time frames on when you're going to cease weighing, measuring and tracking all of your food, you might potentially only weigh and measure the energy dense stuff and not track 
and weigh your uh, cruciferous vegetables, uh, your greens, your, your fruit or your proteins, and that's how you're going to control your, your diet. So again, you need to have a plan when you're going to finish tracking your calories and weighing your food and all the neurotic behaviors and have something else that's a little more sustainable long term. So guys, is tracking calories and macros harmful? Most definitely not. You just need to consider these four things when you do do it. Make sure that you think objectively, rationally, and you think incrementally, not categorically, because nothing is good or bad. It's all context dependent.